Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we're going to talk about the performance of Windows 11 compared to Windows 10 because a lot of you have been asking me when you move on to Windows 11, is Windows 11 uh, something that is heavy and that is going to run slow and maybe hog the system because it's a new version of Windows. You know, we come from eras of Windows uh, when we talk about the different versions that every version that they did after the one we were using was always a little heavier on, you know, what it needed. And, um, you know, thinking of Windows XP, which was, um, you know, you needed some a little more hardware and more memory and more uh, more capacity, more CPU to to run it from Windows, you know, 98, for example. And then Windows Vista was, you know, a uh, heavier system. Windows 7 were heavier than Windows XP, kind of lighter maybe than Windows Vista. But um, And then we had Windows 10. And what is interesting is that the performance there, when we started using these different versions of Windows, started to simply... Um, basically, you know, it, it, it just um, got stabilized, if you want. Uh, for the first time since Windows 7, when Windows, well, Windows 8 arrived, Windows 8.1, it was pretty lightweight. Windows 10, not many changes, nothing really different in performance levels. Windows 11 continues on that, and uh, even, I would say, maybe... Um, makes it a little better because um, when I look at how I get performance out of this machine here uh, which is a nice machine not an overly um, you know uh, crazy machine this um, operating system actually works very well and doesn't really hog anything and uh, like I said it, it works as fast and um, uh, some some users and and I've kind of agree on some point where there are options and some things that we do that seem even to be faster than what Windows 10 did. So no, it's not going to hog your system. A lot of that comes also from the fact that some of you have seen the minimum requirements, thinking, well, if they put the minimum requirements so high, it must be a tough system to run. And you know, a lot of you that have tweaked. And a lot of users that have tweaked their systems or their the image to run it on machines that shouldn't run it, even machines that are much older, have a perfectly fine running machine. So it gives you an idea that this system is lightweight in a certain way. Um, it is uh, of, it has good performance. Um, the requirement for the graphics adapter obviously probably has to do with the animations and the graphics that go with this system because there's a little more animations and a little more stuff happening um, as you are using it. But overall, it uh, is actually um, very fast. And performance-wise, I don't think anybody's going to see a difference um, between Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, for the minimum requirement in memory, um, I've used this on a um, four gigabyte machine, eight gigabyte machine. This one has 16 gigabytes. And um, although it is a little faster on eight plus, it still is pretty fast on a four gigabyte machine. So that if you're a little low on, on RAM, um, it's still running well. But uh, remember that they upped the minimum requirement. Um, Windows 10 can run technically on, on two gigabytes, which is really not recommended. But Windows 11 um, minimum is four gigabytes, so that you will need to have more RAM. And anyways, you need more RAM, the, the, the better. You know, eight, at least 16, kind of the standard today is to check if you buy a new PC with Windows 11, gets, get a machine that has 16 gigabytes of RAM to make sure that Windows runs as smoothly as possible. And an SSD drive, and you're all set up. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.